Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. You don't see a lot of motorcycles like this on the road today and I gotta tell you, this bike, it's a beautifully designed motorcycle. And I think Triumph really spent the time in designing the Speed Twin 1200. The fit and finish on this motorcycle is simply amazing and you can tell it's actually well thought out. And the color of this bike, they call it the Baja Orange. It's kind of, it's a matte orange really, and I love the color of this bike. It's so unique. This bike is definitely a modern classic. It's a retro inspired, and it's also very capable with the most advanced components today. They put a lot of really new technology on the motorcycle, such as the ABS, the drive modes, which has three drive modes. This thing has sport, road, and rain, which you gotta try sport if you have one of these bikes. And the rain mode, it basically gives me confidence that you'll have traction on, you know, when it's raining. With all the upgrades they did on this motorcycle, there's one thing that I really wish that I, they upgraded. It's the halogen headlights. It's 2023, everything here, the taillight, the brake lights, these turn signals, they're all LEDs except for the headlights. It's still halogen headlights. Now I understand they wanna keep it retro, but high visibility equals safety. So I think, my opinion, if you're gonna upgrade your motorcycle, I would really start on those headlights if you don't have LED headlights yet. Riding at night is one thing, you know, since your surroundings is a lot darker, any headlights really would increase visibility when you're on the road. I'm more concerned about daytime riding. Now looking at this footage, you can barely see the halogen headlights on. And I think that's a problem. Now Mike from Brogue Motorcycles sent me this LED retro inspired headlights for me to review. Now Brogue Motorcycles, if you don't know that company, so basically they're one of the few companies in the United States that actually designs quality parts and accessories. And not just for all motorcycles, but really for the modern classic lineup of the Triumph. Now they do make other accessories for different bikes, but they're specialized on specific bikes. So you know they did their research and development in designing and crafting and fabricating the parts that comes with the products that we're gonna talk about today. And I'll put their YouTube channel on the description below as well as their website, so if you wanna check them out. All right, these LED headlights, in the box comes obviously the LED headlight itself, a metal ring that helps seat the headlight and its own retaining pins. Now the installation is pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is remove two screws on the left and the right of the headlight. Once you remove them, just gently pull the headlights out. And then you see two wires. Go ahead and unplug those two wires. Now, you won't need the smaller wire you'll only need the main wires, you can't miss it. Now in the beginning I was a little confused because I thought that little wire actually is for the high beam, but no, it's actually for one of those accent lighting in the bottom of the stock headlight, you won't need them. So you will still have your high beam and low beam on this setup. Once you take this off, just be careful because you're gonna need the black housing. You're gonna have to reuse it. Now you have to remove the retaining pins, just use flathead screwdriver and just be gentle with it. Once you remove all those, you can remove the headlight. Go ahead and just seat the metal ring that comes in the box. This metal ring actually helps the headlight center and seat it properly on the housing. So once you do that, put in the LED headlights and then its own retaining pin and then that's it for the setup. And then go ahead and plug the main wire. Once you do plug it, I do recommend turning on your motorcycle first, making sure the headlight is actually working. 
once it does once you confirm that it's working go ahead and push it back in align the screws and then just screw it back in and you're done that's it the installation really it's very very easy it takes about five to ten minutes now let me show you the different footage comparing your old headlights to the retro inspired headlights that's on this motorcycle now this headlight is so much brighter and is highly visible during the day which makes it a lot safer I think my opinion and yes like I said you'll have your high beam and your, your low beam as well this setup just fits the look of the bike it really completes its modern design while maintaining that classic look now since the turn signals are already LED and the brake lights are LED it does complete the look by adding this retro inspired headlights now you got LED on the bike it draws less power and it lasts longer so if you're thinking about upgrading your headlights to an LED you'll be happy with this product I mean me personally I love it this retro look retains the modern classic that Triumph is actually going for which I really love about these retro or modern classic motorcycles it retains the the look that they're going for compared to other LED headlights in the market where it's kind of clear it's a lot more futuristic looking I'd prefer this look better so let me know what you think about this setup if you're thinking about upgrading your headlights Put that in the comments below all right so hopefully you like this video if you're into motorcycle videos and accessories consider subscribing to the channel i got a lot more uh, motorcycle videos coming up and then if you want to see videos about that guy right there go ahead and click right here if you want to check out motorcycle library that i created go ahead and click here